Hey, hello everyone! My name is Indy and welcome back to Metabots! Last time we got signed up for this battle network stuff. And uh, well, this time we're continuing to find out who stole Eggy over here. There used to be a Metabot here called Eggy and it's gone. So let's find out who did, who, uh, who did that. Someone stole an extremely rare Metabot from this town. Nobody else had this model yet, so we were thinking it could make a great advertisement for the store. But then it got stolen. We should have kept it in a back room instead of displaying it. What was the thief like? It was a bunch of metabots, but there was only one person from the Roborobo gang. Oh no. That thief from before has got to be a really strong meta fighter. It's too clever for a Roborobo to have thought of it. He's way too good to be in a ridiculous group like that. There was also someone like that at Rosewood Private School, but I haven't really seen him lately. Rosewood Private School, huh? Ah, that's interesting. Right, before we go and head out, we should uh, change around some stuff and we're gonna do something really interesting uh, that we haven't done really uh, yet before. So, <laughs> we're gonna completely mutilate this metabot. Um, and I'm looking for... Do we have the lag? Yeah, we have the lag. So, I'm making this metabot into this. We need mermaid uh, soon. Because it has a, oh, oh, hold on, a metaphors which can do some damage, and we need that uh, for something very soon. So, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go to Rosewood Private School for the time being. I might find a clue there somewhere. Maybe Erica's there already. And, uh, sorry, I forgot one thing. I forgot to just one thing. We need a Gorum. No, I'm sorry, we need a Hanawa arm. Uh, which has the cancel optic uh, properties to it, which will come in handy indeed. All right, hey, who's that? <laughs> I was still here to wait here till I'm called. <laughs> okay, <laughs> interesting. It's you guys! <laughs> this is not what I need right now. Is that how you say hi? We heard all about the Rubber Rubber Gang and came to see what all the fuss was. We'll catch them and then everyone will know the heroes of justice the screws. Speaking of the River Robo Gang, did they escape towards here? They don't take us so lightly. What the heck are you talking about? If we had seen the River Robos already, we would have caught them. I see. Well, let me get going then. Don't try and play games with us. Do you think we're gonna let you have all the credit? Spike, Sloan, let's get him. Today we can't lose, right boss? You guys say that every time. <laughs> Don't be surprised when you lose. Row battle time! Oh, three with the dust you drink. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> anyway, uh, first up is Sloan, which is why we need to cancel Optic. We fought him before. This is going to be over very soon. Um, wait, I, I didn't grab the anti C! Oh no! <laughs> that was dumb. Okay, well, we should be fine anyway. Let's make haste to use the shot trap and some support. This is probably not gonna hit right now. No. Thought about that. I should have cried. <laughs> Why didn't I take the anti C? I had it prepared already. Oh no. That's probably not gonna do too much damage, luckily. Uh, anti C on a uh, non C metawatt does uh, not too, too much. Okay, we're gonna need to hit- Oh, that would work out really well! Let's see if we can do that. Oh wait, no, I, I did the wrong move. <laughs> I did the wrong move! Sloan has never been this difficult before. So, as we can see now, we've got some healing meta parts set up, <laughs> which uh, we haven't had before. So I'm gonna make use of it, because uh, why not? It's there anyway. So the donor arm I've just selected will uh, heal meta be over time. As long as this part's not completely broken, it will still be able to heal. Uh, we need that arm to be intact, of course, otherwise it won't block any lasers anymore, <laughs> which would be a bad thing. Uh, well, wow, that shot trap did some huge damage over there. Hopefully our knockoff spinner can uh, avoid this one. Oh, well, he <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. At least he took it like a champ, so that's good. So, as you'll see now, maybe we will keep uh, getting repaired uh, once every couple of seconds. And, uh, well, that will do us some good, of course. Now, 
sometimes to take out Sloan. These battles against Sloan always take a, take a quite some time unless you get a really lucky shot in. Hey, that was good timing. Oh no, he's not... He's not putting up a fight! No! <laughs> I'm disappointed in you knockoffs, Milodon. Anyway, as long as... Uh, well, <laughs> I was gonna say, as long as Metabee will aim for, the, for his head, we'll probably be fine. All right. Remember, go for one of the parts from Sloan. Well, we didn't get a new part. I don't even uh, know if we have all the parts from uh, Sloan. I tried a couple of times, but uh, Roller Tank will probably do. Let's do it. Of course, there's Spike. Uh, well, this is probably not going to be too, too hard, right? We've got a couple of chain uh, weapons here. Uh, so, unfortunately, no switching parts in between these battles, which can be a little a little bit annoying. We will lay down a shot trap for Cyan Dog there and uh, use support, of course. Unfortunately, that was before uh, Scout, and Scout really uh, helps a lot <laughs> with those kinds of moves. But, uh... That will at least attack Cyan Dog for a little while. Ah, that's his legs. Wait, that's not gone? <laughs> I thought that was gonna be his legs gone. That's too bad. Oh, that does, uh, that does a little bit of damage. Good for you. So, that would, second missile will probably take him out. And, uh, well... We're gonna go with Flexisort now, and that will wreak havoc on those guys. Well, that's the first Manta Ray uh, gone. Manta Prey. And uh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> he even defended a little bit. Oh no! Oh, that's oh, that's a, uh, such a bummer, man, for you. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> he just got completely wrecked. I love that. I think that's great. Oof. Well, I'm sorry, uh, Spike. That's gonna be it for you. Ah, uh, goodbye. Hey, there we go. That did take a couple of a couple of tries to get there. Anyway, you guys are all talk. This is just a warm up for us. It's it's the parents' turn. <laughs> uh, turn. Who? How can you go to our school and not know who the Baron is? Fine, listen up. The Baron is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just row battle already. How dare you interrupt me telling you about the Mighty Baron? I too am a famous meta fighter. Okay, this is the Baron. Uh, now... Um... <laughs> this is interesting. Look, uh, we're gonna take meta -Bee. We're gonna take uh, Land Motor over here and we're gonna take our knockoff Brass. <laughs> our completely knockoff Brass. So, this guy. Uh, you don't really want to attack him. <laughs> That's just... We're gonna spam Metaphors. I'm using uh, Land Motor right now to see if he can attack him. But I'm not sure about that. And we're gonna charge Metaphors with Mermaid also. Look, uh, this guy uh, uses three Metabots. Uh, they're all uh, they're all a Banisher Metabot and they, <laughs> they only use Counter-Attack. We, uh, we've seen Counter-Attack before in our row battle with, uh, with Erika at Otero Marsh. Now... Um, right now they're not activated yet, so, you know, 
<laughs> okay, that does a little bit of damage. <laughs> but uh, there, we there they go. Once we attack a Metabot with counterattack, he's gonna counterattack. The only way to avoid this is using weak attacks. And it's very hard to pinpoint uh, what constitutes a weak attack. It's... I, I just don't know. Uh, so, the only real strategy we can do here is uh, use our metaphors. And my hope is that the anti-air uh, is weak enough to get through it. We're just gonna have to see. Uh, I'm not sure if it doesn't work. We're just gonna make that metaphors just like run around for a bit or something, you know? <laughs> Uh, but uh, we only have two metabots which have an attacking or damage doing metaphors Which is of course the ultra shot from Metabee and also the shrapnel attack from our mirror mate uh, So that's exactly what we're gonna try and do <laughs> uh, We'll see. We'll see. I'm very curious if anti-air is good enough. I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, so but yeah, it is weak enough Good So there you go. You can use uh, anti-air attacks um, I don't know what the power on that part is, but it's probably low enough to uh, to uh, attack them, so good job. So that's a strategy you can use as well. But no, uh, if don't try this uh, with, with other meta parts, it, <laughs> it's probably not going to be very successful for you. Or for me, for that matter. I mean, I tried. <laughs> this does a lot of damage. If you do a flex sword on one of these guys, man, you're completely done. You're just done. So, But anyway, this works, so we're going to try uh, the other part works as well. I'm curious to see how much damage Shrapnel Attack does. Shrapnel Attack uh, halves all your parts, uh, all the, the all the hit points from your parts, and just fires them off. So that does uh, quite some damage. And then, of course, it's a repair metabot, so it can heal itself back to health. Try the metaphors again. So it's a it's a bit of a strategy there. Of course, if you keep uh, using shrapnel tech, we'll have diminishing returns because you only, uh, you know, once you half your. Uh... That's scout. Oh, right, right. Yeah, just, just attack the leader one. I want him gone. So, you know, probably the best strategy to go there. Right. Um, so this might be a good time to go about uh, something I've been uh, thinking of. So we're gonna have. Um from this point in the game, we're gonna come across a lot of robots that we've already seen, even the boss robots. And I've tried to show all the boss robots up until this point. Uh, boss battles pretty much constitute battles which we cannot avoid. We need to do to progress the story, and there's a lot of them, which are gonna be doubles, like uh, Sloan and Spike we've just done. So I was thinking uh, to just, you know, try and cut those battles, so show them a little bit, maybe some highlights or whatever, but then like skip the majority um, so while I'm uh, saying this I haven't figured out the way to do that yet because I have to edit this episode and the episode before that but uh, you've probably already seen uh, the cut up row battle uh, just now with Spike and with Sloan and well I'm actually very curious uh, to hear about what you thought of that so uh, please let me know and um, yeah hopefully uh, it's something that uh, makes sense. So, yeah. Of course, uh, these are new, so I'm gonna help you through and show you these robots in full. Although, yeah, I might say, this one is pretty boring. You're completely safe as long as you don't, you know, tick them off in a wrong way. So... Well, that guy wasn't even... This counterattack's not even up right now. <laughs> I could have just attacked him. That's pretty nice. We can uh, maybe take a shot at him. That could be cool. He's not defending anyway, so... Might as well go for it, right? Of course, we haven't used Scout in this battle, so yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> He's still able to defend everything. Good stuff. And as you can see, a counter-attacking Metabot, like we did anti-air in the other one right now, uh, uh, just now, and it didn't do any damage whatsoever. Uh, while at this uh, this Metabot took 28 damage from, a, from an anti-air, which is pretty weak. So, 
yeah, uh, his defense completely, it's just completely gone when he's counterattacking. So as long as he can't block a, uh, block a move, you're a pretty set to go. Now there's only one thing he can do uh, when he uh, when it gets his turn, so which is counterattack more. So <laughs> let's see what happens when we aim for his head with anti-air. Curious. Oh. oh, hold on! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. This unit sometimes counterattacks. I didn't even read that. Didn't even read that. So I have <laughs> no idea what he's doing right now. Maybe he can counterattack this attack right now? Maybe? No. Anyway, the six damage. <laughs> There's not, not much to it. Let's see which one attacks. Okay. That's <laughs> not the one we're trying for, Metabi, but you know. And he's not even finished off! Ugh. Well, we can do shrapnel attack. Um, that could work. Is he seriously gonna finish him off? Oh, he's close though. Shrapnel, who knows? Maybe he'll target the leader. Yeah, that should be that should be done, right? Yeah, that should be plenty. There we go. So, interesting strategy with Mermaid Metal, but it works. It works. Yeah, there we go. We got his head metal part. Of course, there's there's no other metal part to get apart from. Not bad for a kid. <coughs> Baron, are you okay? Give me that. Here's your tomato juice. Juice! <coughs> I threw up because I was too excited. Baron, shall we go back to the hospital? Sorry, I was so useless. You should be ashamed of yourself, Indy. Picking on our poor, weak little Baron like that. Man, that ate up a lot of time. I better hurry to Rosewood Private School. Well, you say that, but... Actually, we're gonna head around back and... Uh, like I said, we're gonna head back to the meta shop. Uh, because, well, thing, <laughs> things are gonna get a little bit confusing, maybe, right now. So instead of going to Rose Private School, which, as our utmost priority, we're, we're first... Well, we're, we're gonna do some battles first. So, uh, let's uh, change up some uh, meta parts. Let's change some of them back for now. Uh, we're just gonna repair meta to what he was. There we go. And is there anything else? Yeah, let's change Brass back as well with her mouse metal for continued support. I'm gonna save real quick. There we go. And we're gonna head over to this terminal right here. Currently, we're accepting challenges for people ranking from 24th to 21st. That's us. Stand by for connection. It's just a select corp. This is, you know, we have battled these guys for millions of times right now, so it's probably gonna be fine. That wasn't that too bad, though it is considered a boss battle, considering it's a requirement for the game. Um, anyway, uh, now <laughs> let's change something back. It's probably gonna be look familiar because we've had it just a second ago. Hold on, skip, skip past it. Uh, wait, where is it now? There it is. Uh, so. You probably noticed one. <laughs> it's Sloan. We just, we just battled this guy. We, we just, just, now I'm gonna grab my anti C, by the way. <laughs> this would have been handy the last time, but anyway. The one thing I just thought of, though, and this is something to be very considerate of. Uh, I was actually gonna skip past this battle, but something just uh, caught my eye. Uh, well, he's gonna be dead. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, just watch out, Sloan, <laughs> Totalizer. Like I said, the Saibara battlefield makes everyone very fast. Even Sloan. So, the tank metabot legs are slow in every field. Except, uh... No, it's fine. Except 
here. <laughs> so he is going to completely destroy you if you don't watch out using the uh, laser. Anyway. Uh, I know, I know. We're going <laughs> to... I know. <laughs> Let's change uh, back Meta B again. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. And uh, continue with our battling. This is one we've also already had before. It's not going to be too bad. Uh, his Ghost, Metabot, Hanawa and Gorum are just a little bit, you know, tanky. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to just, uh, you know, push through. All right, we're going to go for one more row battle. This one's going to, uh, you know, be familiar as well. They're all repeat repeats battles. So uh, it's this one, <laughs> Milky. So uh, not too bad. We'll, uh, we'll probably make our way through here. Uh, oh, I should have grabbed that. I see. Again, I, <laughs> I'm not paying enough attention here. Anyway, uh, no, this is going to be just fine. Hey, that's not too bad. We didn't have that one yet. All right, go for safe. Now that my bloodthirst is quenched, <laughs> let's... Uh, Let's get back into our hero role and get over to a Rosewood Private School. Remember, take the car to not get any interruptions like I've had before. Yo, it's Indy. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Metabots. I know it's been a very long time, but don't worry. I'm back as on the Metabots episode, so I hope you're looking forward to the next one. Uh, where we'll actually go, uh, you know, save to school this time. So, I hope to see you again in another episode of Metabots. <laughs>